Damn. Corey joined with, with pedophile R. Kelly, and they said they was going to initiate a takedown of Tasha K. Right, now, right. both of these men have been uh, uh, alleged to like fingers and tongs and shit up their ass. Corey Holcomb wise, you know, on my phone. And that, that's why they ain't together. Because she would lick no ass. I did a video about a week ago, actually, on Corey Holcomb's comments about how the sisters were dressed at the last BET Awards. Now, in full disclosure, I don't watch the BET Awards, and I don't listen to Corey Holcomb. I hear about this stuff through YouTube algorithm, you know, suggestions and stuff. Sometimes I click it on, but most of the time I don't. Most of the time I just ignore the stuff and keep going. But I seen the picture of Remy Ma in that little glass dress you know that little jeweled out dress and you know of course you click that on <laughs> you see something like that come through your recommendations you click that on right so that's how i found out about all this but here's the thing man we are way too judgmental as black people let he without sin cast the first stone most of y'all have whole whole cemeteries in y'all closet y'all couldn't stand no degree of scrutiny because some of y'all got so many bad funny habits and fetishes that is not funny as you're going to hear tasha k talking about Corey holcomb as himself with his butt fetish that he liked fingers in in his butt that he liked women licking on his butt and all that stuff you know what i'm saying most of y'all got a lot of fetishes we know Cor Corey said that he used to kick a chick in her ass as some type of sexual kink think about that kicking a woman in her ass as some kind of sexual kink and he, he claims to do this to black women. He said that, you know, you're not a real black man if you don't forcibly take it from a black woman. You know what I'm saying? So this dude got problems. You know what I'm saying? Like that one chick exposed Dr. Umar Johnson. He was trying to put her in, in his in his city rotation, right? Because he wants to have women in every city. So when he travels around talking in these black communities, he wants to have a woman that he can go lay up with, have sex without no type of commitment, no type of strings attached, none of that stuff. And he admitted that he don't want to get married to a black woman because they talk too much. So he's telling you that he has a lot of secrets. And the thing about people like him and people like Dr. Umar Johnson, you don't know what they do because you don't know them well enough to know. But the thing I'm trying to get you brothers to understand, man, is that we got to stop being so opinionated. Listen, if you want to live on your high, mighty, moral cloud and you say that you don't want a woman dressing a certain way in public, that's you, but you have to understand that the whole world is not you. You got to understand that most men that have very attractive women, they want to show their wives off. They don't want, if they got a wife with banging body, with a banging body, pretty face, they don't want to hide her body. They want to make sure she wears something that shows it off. This is what the men do. If you have something that you are proud of, you show it off. The only people that don't show it off are those that are afraid somebody's going to take it from them. These men are not scared that their wives are going to run off from no dude because he's looking at her. So you got to understand, you, 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 you got, the world is bigger than your morals. The world is bigger than the way you see things because when you start getting into those kind of morals, they're not even universal. That's an individual thing. And that's what I don't think y'all understand, that there's a difference between universal moral codes and individual moral codes. This stuff about sexuality, that's an individual thing. It's not a universal thing. This stuff about the women, the, the female body, that is some kind of sacred thing that only one man should ever notice or see, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a personal belief. That's not a universal belief. We are born naked, people. We're born naked. Stop spending all your time looking for somebody to comment on, looking for somebody to put down and make yourself feel good about your miserable life stop doing that live your life for you that's what you do but according to his wife his ex is soon to be ex-wife and that's the reason why they not together now is because she would refuse to lick his ass or put her fingers in his ass Thank you.